about the diesel. When you were telling us about the Yule mystery, you said that each of us shall get that one very word, which from then on will indicate the name of our fate, of our personal dis, our personal leading la, our leading force. The word dis appeared often in my childhood dreams, but I never got to know, to find a decent explanation for its meaning, and have never come across it in any literary work. I obviously can guess what it means out of the given context, yet I would like to gain a deeper understanding of it. In what tradition is this term to be found? What can I read about it? A dis is a goddess of fate, of good fate, in the Scandinavian tradition. There were the Moirai, who would determine the general canvas, the fate of both gods and humans, and there were the Desir, who would determine only human destinies. Sorceresses, for instance, the good and the evil sorceresses determine the fate of the fairy tale's main character. These good sorceresses are called the Desir. The myth tells us that there are good Desir and evil Desir. The good ones would grant a good fate, the evil ones an evil fate. All of this can be found in Scandinavian mythology. The Dis is the personal keeper of your fate, a personification of your destiny, someone who shapes it and keeps it safe. A Dis would never grant a fate that goes beyond the fate of God, of your God. In Scandinavian mythology, the general fate of a God is called the Orlog, whereas the personal fate is called the Weird. A Weird is always contained within the Orlog. The Moirai take care of the Orlog, the Desir take care of the Weird. In the given context, a Dis is the personal keeper of your fate.